while most if not all of the flagship smartphones and tablets coming out this year have encryption enabled by default the Moto G4 and Moto G4 Plus does not this is likely because it doesn't meet the performance threshold that Google or Motorola prefers but if you don't mind taking a small hit on performance in order to keep your data and personal information protected with encryption then you can go in through the settings and manually enable encryption on these two devices so to do that we need to launch the settings application and then we're going to scroll down and tap on the security option see right here we have an encrypt phone option and then whenever we tap it we get a brief description of what encryption is and how we can enable it so once you are ready to encrypt the Moto G4 or Moto G4 Plus you will need to have the battery at at least 80 percent and you will need to plug the device in to a charger once the device is charging you'll see the encrypt phone button light up and as it says encryption takes an hour or more so it's ideal to keep your phone charging while this process happens so all you have to do is tap the encrypt phone button you're told that this operation is irreversible and if you interrupt it you will lose some of your data on the phone when you're ready just go ahead and tap on encrypt phone again then you're gonna see the Moto G4 reboot Instead of booting up into Android though, you're going to see it boot up into this special encrypting screen. Now depending on how much data you have stored on the device, that will affect how, much, how long this encryption process will take. For example, if you have your entire internal storage partition filled, and you barely have enough room to install another application the encryption process will take a lot longer than if you were to enable encryption on the Moto G4 right as soon as you pulled it out of the box So as you can see this is going to take some time so I'm just going to go ahead and pause the camera and then when I come back it'll be right toward the end. So now the encryption process for the Moto G4 is getting toward the end. It didn't take anywhere near an hour for me and that's likely because I don't have that much data on this device like I said before if you have a whole bunch of apps and games or media on the internal storage of the Moto G4 then it can take that long And once it reaches 100%, we're going to see the Moto G4 reboot again.
this time we'll be taken back to the Android operating system. And as you can see, the encryption section here tells us that the phone is encrypted.